Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Good afternoon and welcome to a Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you, filling in for the doctor who's uh, recharging his batteries at the end of the year. Well deserved and he'll return next week, I'm sure, with a fire in his belly. In the meantime, I'm going to be here with you uh, for the next three hours and again tomorrow. Glad to be back here on the home of unprotected talk. Um, check out all things on michaelsavage.com. The site is updated throughout the day, so it's for the, probably the best news site out there. You don't even have to go to all the newspapers, all the, all the news stories you need there. Of course, follow the doctor on uh, Twitter at a Savage Nation and on Facebook. Uh, never underestimate the power of Facebook and Twitter. Remember, there are numerous sites out there, and uh, Dr. Savage's page is the one with his book on it, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. If you missed the opportunity to give it as a Christmas gift, well, the end of the year is here. We're on the cusp of a new year. This book is a roadmap. It is a blueprint for the times we are living in. If you want the answers to the test as to what's coming up in the year, government zero. No borders, no language, no culture. And I, I kid you not. Um, I'm going to uh, cite some examples uh, from the book just to show you what I mean. If you have it. You're one of the fortunate ones. Um, buy it for a friend. And if you don't have it, um, buy it for yourself. Uh, trust me on that. Just, just you know what? I'm going to – I've got my, my notes here and everything. But I just want – just quickly. This is just quickly. I was hooked on this book in the first nine words. Chapter one, government zero. What is government zero? There is – and I quote, there is a dance of death in the West. That was it. I was hooked at that point, and then the rest is just uh, uh, its a fantastic read. And I'll just, just go through this real quick before I get to the issues at hand. And, of course, we want to hear from you on the Savage Nation, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. There is, this is from Government Zero, Chapter 1, What is Government Zero?, I wasn't going to do this. I'm just changing it up, guys. Watch. There is a dance of death in the West and actual death in the Middle East, courtesy of the Islamo-fascists. Meanwhile, the Caesar in the White House entertains himself with a thousand sycophants partying on behind closed doors as if the Islamo-fascist hand will not touch him. He thinks he's protected from this new plague, the Black Death of radical Islam. That's what got me hooked. And um, that's just the first paragraph. So if you like that, you're definitely going to love Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Don't take it from me. Read it yourself. You'll see. I mean, that first paragraph um, hooked me. But we've got a lot to get to today. There is um, a lot going on in the world uh, regarding terrorism. We've got uh, the U.S. caught spying on our own ally in Israel. Now, I know a lot of countries spy on each other, and uh, you try to get information that's been going on since the beginning uh, of time. But given these times, given the Islamist fascists, given ISIS, given the terrorism that we face now here on our own soil, our, to have our own ally in the Middle East be someone who we are really showing a lot of disrespect to um, is troubling. This goes back to before Obama was even president. Now, this is not just the normal spying on, on Israel or, or on one of our other neighbors. That's normal for the spy world. Okay, let's not, pretend, let's not pretend that doesn't happen. This is not so much the U.S. spying on Israel. It is really targeting. Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu. That's what Obama was doing. It was Obama targeting uh, Bibi. We will get to that. We'll talk about the details of that. Of course, we have Iran firing on a U.S. warship, or at least a missile landed 1,500 feet from a U.S. warship. Kind of makes you question. Kind of makes you question. That deal? What? $150 billion of your money? 
free reign to create nukes in 8 to 15 years. Of course, the promise of wiping Israel off the map is there again. Uh, truly, <laughs> truly an amazing phenomenon. Giving away the store on that, and now, now they're teasing us. Uh, it is truly amazing the, the lack of respect that this administration has for Israel, our one ally in the region. And again, in uh, Government Zero, No Borders, No Culture, No, no Language, No Culture, um, you can read uh, Dr. Savage chronicles Benjamin Netanyahu's uh, address to Congress in March of earlier this year. And I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but he uh, compares him to Winston Churchill. You know, not bad company to be in. A little closer to home, not that the uh, Israel stuff doesn't uh, affect you, comes the first of the year in the state of California, the state that Dr. Savage calls home. Police may confiscate guns without notice as of January 1st, 2016. That's the day after tomorrow, my friends. Again, no, there's nothing wrong with your radio. There's nothing wrong with your phone if you're listening on your phone or tablet. It's working fine. I enunciate properly. The police in California may confiscate guns without notice as of January 1st, 2016. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that. And then in my own uh, former home where I lived for six, oh man, very long, long years. Made some good friends there, but they were long, long years living in Seattle. Um, they actually have a gun tax a gun tax on ammunition. They, they're, they're anti-gun up there, so they, they can't make the guns illegal. So they're going to have a gun tax. We'll talk about that. There's a Seattle judge that upheld the city's new fee for guns and ammunition, dubbed the gun violence tax. Yeah, yeah no, you're, you're living. You're living in America. This stuff is going on. A gun tax. Um, Disney getting in on the action. We'll touch on all of this. Uh, Disney putting up metal detectors. It's under the guise of uh, caring about your safety. But really, who carries a gun to Disney? If you have a concealed carry, I live in the state of Florida, and you want to go to Disney World, um, yeah, you might bring your gun. I've talked to a lot of gun owners. They say they bring it, but they leave it in the car. This is to get guns, just to, to get people, to separate people from their guns. It has nothing to do with Disney saying, oh, we worried about terrorism, San Bernardino, Paris. No, it's, it's just another way to stop you from carrying your gun on one particular day. Let me put it to you this way. If the terrorists are going to go on a very soft target to Disneyland or Disney World or any of the Disney resorts, they're not going to go through the turnstile. They're not going to wear a vest. They're not going to have a backpack bomb. What they're going to do is storm the place and just start firing. They're going to be uh, dressed like ninjas. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that as well. But there's some good news coming out of my current home state of Florida. They're actually... Um, this was from last week. The Florida State Colleges are asking the legislature for money, $74 million, so that they can enhance uh, security, police and armed security on campuses. And the bill includes a campus carry bill for students. So no more mass shootings. And if terrorism comes, they're going to have a battle on their hands. And I'd like to know how, uh, how you think about all of that. And don't forget to um, go to michaelsavage.com. There's a free sign up there for the Michael Savage newsletter. Again, michaelsavage.com, free. Who gives away anything free these days? So free sign up for the Michael Savage newsletter. Again, our phone number, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Uh, before we get uh, to our issues at hand and our calls, I just want to um, comment on something. I was thinking about this with the, with the whole reference to government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. I am from the Bronx. Of you back to Dr. Savage, who's also from the Bronx. And when I hear him play the older music, it, it brings me back to, to when I was a kid. My, my parents and my grandparents would play a lot of those same songs. And I'm not calling Dr. Savage old. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's got good taste in music. But it brings me back to a time when I was much younger. All that means is we are of different generation. And... I think back to um, the the Bronx and how it now epitomizes what's going on in the country. And what I mean by that is, um, except for where my family still lives in the northeast corner of the Bronx, it's going downhill fast. It's going downhill fast because there are no borders. There are no language. There is no, no the culture. 
There is no American culture. It's, it's everybody there who refuses to assimilate. I remember the days uh, I had relatives up on the Grand Concourse, and Dr. Savage will remember this. The Grand Concourse, it was like Park Avenue, okay? The, the majestic buildings, the doormen dressed to the nines, class and dignity, opening the doors for the patrons. Now a lot of it's just, it's the hood. It's rent control. A lot of it is just disgusting. The Grand Concourse in the Bronx, which leads to Fordham Road, used to be a shopping mecca. Now it's disgusting. They got walls around the, the esteemed university of Fordham University because around it, it's horrible. It's dangerous. And it is now infiltrated with a lot of people who have come to this country they're, they're not immigrants, per se. Technically, they are. What they are are kind of invaders, because they come here, they don't want to learn the language, they don't want to contribute to society, and they just destroy, they don't own homes, most of them. Some do. Not all bad people. And they, they just destroy everything, because they just don't care. It's like they think the streets are paved with gold. They think that, that my old borough of the Bronx, you know, had its once majestic time that like it fell from the sky like in the Wizard of Oz. No, it's not like that. It was hard work, hard work by immigrants such as my grandparents who came over here in like the 19, 1912 and the 14, 1916, and, and millions of others, German, Irish, Greek, Italian, and, and they contributed and they worked hard and they assimilated but what I see now when I look in the West Bronx, I'm, I'm in the Northeast, I see no borders, no language, no culture, at least not American culture, and what I see is a lesser way of living. And the government likes this. The current administration likes this, okay? Because as it says in Government Zero, and I quote, a government that exists by itself, of itself, and for itself, must destroy the truth, because the truth sets people free. And there are so many communities around the uh, United States that are going the way of the Grand Concourse in the Bronx, and Fordham Road, used to have Alexander's, and the majestic movie theater there, I forget what it was called, the Palace or something like that. It was like, better than a Broadway play just to see a movie at these theaters. Now... The streets are filthy. Nobody cares. It, it, it's just gross. It's just gross. And um, it's, it's a sad state of affairs because we're losing our symbolism. We're losing our traditions. We're losing the bedrock of what made this nation great. Why people want to come here and ruin a good thing instead of being part of a good thing is beyond me. But we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We're going to talk about spying on Israel, Iran firing on a warship or dang near close to it, Police confiscating your guns in California, and of course a, a violence tax in in Seattle. Oh boy, oh boy, we've got a lot to get to. Um, I want to want to post it all here, but <laughs> Obama was voted the um, by Gallup the most admired man in the world. We, we could have some fun with that later. If you want to get in on the conversation, we'll get right to your calls. Eight hundred eight five five four hundred Savage. Again, free sign up for a Michael Savage newsletter at michaelsavage.com. You are listening to the home. Of government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. My name is Lou Pate on the Savage Nation. Welcome back to a Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you. I remember the home of government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. Um, it's truly amazing what is going on in the world that we, uh, our United States is spying on our number one ally in Israel. And as I explained to you at the top of the monologue there, that this is not the United States spying on Israel. That is normal. Enemies spy on each other. Allies keep an eye on each other to make sure what's going on. This was the National Security Agency eavesdropping on Benjamin Netanyahu. Remember, earlier this year, there was you, don't, you might not remember, there was a huge election. And Netanyahu wasn't sure whether he was going to be reelected. Re Plus, he was coming to speak in front of a joint session of uh, Congress, and he hit it out of the park there. As I mentioned, Dr. Savage compared him to Winston Churchill, and now it has been revealed that during that time, they were spying on, they're saying Israel, and during the course of this spying, they picked up conversations 